Imagine standing on the windswept plains of prehistoric Europe some 50,000 years ago. The air is crisp and biting, laced with the scent of pine forests and distant campfires. Massive woolly mammoths trumpet in the distance, their shadows stretching long under a pale sun. Amid this frozen wilderness, small groups of hardy figures move with purpose, hunting, gathering, surviving. These are not the brutish cavemen of old myths, but Neanderthals, our closest ancient kin, navigating a world teeming with peril and wonder. What if I told you that their story isn't just one of disappearance, but of a profound legacy woven into our very bones? Today we're diving deep into the prehistoric era, unraveling the mysteries of Neanderthals, their lives, their minds, their encounters with our ancestors, and why their echoes still resonate in us. Stick around because by the end, you'll see how their world shapes ours in ways you never imagined. Let's transport ourselves back to that icy landscape where the story of Neanderthals begins long before modern humans entered the scene. Emerging around 400,000 years ago in Europe and parts of Asia, Neanderthals were masters of adaptation. Their bodies told a tale of evolution sculpted by harsh, cold environments. Picture a Neanderthal, stocky and robust with a barrel chest to conserve heat, short forearms and shins to minimize exposure to the chill, and muscles that could rival those of today's strongest athletes. Their prominent brow ridges shaded keen eyes, and their large noses warmed the frigid air before it reached their lungs. These weren't random quirks. They were survival tools forged over millennia in a world gripped by ice ages. In this prehistoric setting, life was a constant battle against the elements. Neanderthals roamed vast territories, from the misty valleys of what we now call Germany to the rugged coasts of Iberia. They hunted in coordinated groups, facing down megafauna like woolly rhinoceroses and cave bears with spears crafted from wood and stone. Fossils reveal healed fractures and injuries, broken ribs, shattered limbs, that speak to the dangers they endured. Yet remarkably, many survived long enough for those wounds to mend, implying a level of care within their communities. Blind or disabled individuals lived to old age, suggesting Neanderthals shared food and resources, fostering bonds that went beyond mere survival. This social fabric challenges the old stereotype of them as solitary brutes. Instead, envision tight-knit bands huddled around flickering fires, tending to the weak as the northern lights danced overhead. Burials add another layer to this prehistoric narrative. In caves like Shanidar in modern-day Iraq, Neanderthal remains were interred with deliberate care, perhaps sprinkled with flowers, though that's debated. Whether driven by spiritual beliefs or practical hygiene, these acts hint at an awareness of mortality, a spark of something profoundly human. No grand temples or idols survive, but the quiet rituals in those dim caverns suggest Neanderthals pondered life's fleeting nature amid the endless cycles of seasons and hunts. Now, let's delve into their minds, a realm where new discoveries are reshaping our understanding. Neanderthal brains were as large as, or even larger than, those of early modern humans, averaging around 1,400 cubic centimeters. But size isn't everything, it's the wiring that counts. Recent analyses of skull shapes and brain impressions indicate structures similar to ours for processing speech and complex thoughts. They possess the FOXP2 gene variant crucial for language, shared with us, though it alone doesn't guarantee Shakespearean eloquence. Evidence suggests they communicated through a mix of vocalizations, gestures, and perhaps even rhythmic sounds akin to prehistoric storytelling sessions under starlit skies. Cultural artifacts paint a vivid picture of their ingenuity. By 250,000 years ago, Neanderthals in Germany wielded sophisticated tools, hand axes, scrapers, and points honed with precision. But innovation was gradual. Over 150,000 years, their technology evolved modestly, sticking to the Mousterian toolkit of flakes and cores. Why the slow pace? Perhaps their isolated groups limited idea exchange, unlike the network societies of incoming Homo sapiens. Yet dismiss them as dim-witted at your peril. In 2024, archaeologists uncovered evidence of an ancient glue factory in France, where Neanderthals mixed birch tar adhesives 50,000 years ago, demonstrating advanced chemical knowledge. And in Germany, 
a 125,000-year-old fat factory site, revealed they processed animal hides for fats, overlapping with modern indigenous practices for waterproofing and preservation. These weren't crude efforts. They required planning, fire control, and resource management, traits that scream intelligence. 200 Further afield, signs of creativity emerge. Rock art in Spanish caves, dated to over 64,000 years ago, features hand stencils and geometric patterns, predating Homo sapiens' arrival in Europe. Seafaring hints come from islands like Crete, where tools suggest Neanderthals navigated waters, braving waves in rudimentary boats. Burials with ochre pigments imply symbolic thinking, perhaps adorning bodies for rituals. In the Ukraine, mammoth bone structures form shelters, engineering feats against blizzards. This cultural tapestry reveals Neanderthals as thinkers, not just survivors, capable of art, navigation, and community building in a world where every day was a gamble. Analyzing this, it's clear our preconceptions stem from bias. Early scientists post-Darwin labeled them homo stupidus, or dead ends, reconstructing skeletons as hunched caricatures. But modern paleoanthropology flips the script. No evidence shows they were less intelligent than us. Their cognition supported complex behaviors, from tool-making to social care, rivaling early Homo sapiens. Perhaps their slowness in innovation reflects adaptation to stable niches, not inferiority. In a unchanging Ice Age world, why fix what isn't broken? This insight forces us to question human exceptionalism. Were we truly superior or just luckier in timing and numbers? Around 50,000 years ago, the prehistoric stage shifted dramatically. As glaciers retreated and forests expanded, Homo sapiens migrated from Africa, crossing into Neanderthal territories. Envision the first encounters, two groups eyeing each other across a river valley, spears at the ready. Physically, differences were subtle. A Neanderthal's robust build versus our slimmer endurance-focused frames. But culturally, the gap widened. We brought orination tools, finer blades, bone implements, and vast social networks for trading ideas and goods. Neanderthals in smaller dispersed bands innovated locally but struggled to keep pace. For 5,000 to 10,000 years, our ranges overlapped in Europe and the Near East. Were these meetings peaceful or violent? Evidence is scant, but competition for resources like game and caves likely sparked clashes. Our deadlier at Lottles, spear throwers gave an edge in hunts, while trade amplified innovations. Beads from distant shells indicate alliances spanning continents. Neanderthals adopted some traits, like new tool styles, but it wasn't enough. Extinction theories abound enriched by recent research. Climate shifts fragmented habitats, isolating populations and promoting inbreeding. A 2025 study highlights a genetic bottleneck 110,000 years ago, slashing diversity and weakening resilience. Low numbers, perhaps never exceeding 50,000 worldwide, made them vulnerable like today's endangered apes. Diseases from us, to which they had no immunity, could have decimated groups. A novel 2025 hypothesis links extinction to cosmic radiation during a geomagnetic flip, increasing mutations and health issues. Social isolation exacerbated this. 2024 findings from French caves show two late Neanderthal lineages, genetically distinct and rarely mixing, leading to inbreeding. But perhaps the most transformative insight is absorption, not annihilation. Princeton's 2025 study maps 200,000 years of interbreeding, far earlier than thought, with pulses around 50,000 years ago. Oldest human genomes from 2024 reveal Neanderthals carried modern human DNA too, suggesting bidirectional gene flow. By 40,000 years ago, pure Neanderthal lines faded, but their genes persisted in us. This legacy is profound. Non-African humans carry 1 to 4% Neanderthal DNA, influencing traits subtly yet significantly. It boosts immune responses, aiding survival in new environments, but also links to risks like diabetes, lupus, and Crohn's disease. 
Skin adaptations from Neanderthals help with UV protection, but increase sunburn vulnerability. Even behaviors, mood, sleep patterns, smoking propensity trace back. In 2023, studies tied Neanderthal variants to COVID-19 severity, showing ancient interbreeding affects modern pandemics. Reflecting on this, Neanderthals weren't a failed branch, but a vital chapter in our evolution. Their DNA enhanced our adaptability, helping Homo sapiens conquer the globe. Yet it underscores interconnectedness. Extinction wasn't inevitable, but a confluence of factors, reminding us of fragility in changing worlds. To make this vivid, consider real-life stories echoing prehistoric times. Take Thorin, a Neanderthal from 2024 French excavations, dubbed the last of his kind. Isolated for generations, his genome shows extreme inbreeding, like a family tree looping back on itself. Imagine Thorin, alone in his cave, the final guardian of a dying lineage, a poignant tale of solitude amid encroaching humans. Or modern examples, individuals with high Neanderthal DNA, like some Europeans testing via services, report traits like red hair or robust builds. One woman in a 2024 genetic study discovered her autoimmune issues stemmed from Neanderthal genes, linking her health to Ice Age survivors. Athletes with Neanderthal-derived muscle efficiency excel in strength sports, embodying ancient prowess in today's arenas. These stories bridge epochs, making the prehistoric personal. As we wrap this journey through time, the lesson is clear. Neanderthals teach us humility and unity. In a world of division, their story reveals we're all hybrids, carrying fragments of lost kin. Embrace diversity, genetic, cultural, as our strength. For just as they enriched us, our connections today ensure survival. Stay curious about the past, it holds keys to our future.